Hello Pilots and Flight Club fans. We're super excited because we're launching our new platform and we just wanted to give you an in-depth look and show you how to navigate around. So we'll start with browsing airplanes. As you can see, it's a brand new refreshed look. You see little tiles for all the airplanes that we have listed. And here we have the most Canadian airplane you can fly. We're just gonna be using this as a tester. Uh, eventually, as we do get more aircraft onboarded, there will be a filter function where you can filter to your area and see what's close by. But for now, because we only have seven aircraft, we are just listing them all. But as you can see, it's nice and easy on the eyes. So we're gonna go to signing up and we'll just use test at flightclub.life just to sign up and see what it looks like. I would highly recommend you review the terms and conditions. Don't just click consent like most people always do. You can sign up. So here, when you first sign up, you'll be prompted to create your profile. Uh, this is a personal profile, so you'll just enter all the key information about yourself. So your name, first name, last name, phone number, um, in case we need to contact you, the location where you live, uh, by entering the location, it really helps us to focus on where to onboard airplanes next if we don't have an airplane close to you. And then your email will automatically be populated. The next thing that is the most important thing when you're looking to book airplanes is your pilot profile. So whatever you fill in here actually gets submitted to an owner when you request to book their airplane. So you would just put in your licenses, um, your ratings, uh, your total pilot and command time, and your total time, uh, as well as upload pictures of your license and medical. So it'll save that there. This is where you enter your credit card information. Just kidding, not gonna show you guys my credit card, uh, but you would enter your credit card information here and put in the expiry date and CSV. Once you save it, that information will be redacted. It's all stored in Stripe. It's not actually stored by Flight Club, so it is very secure. The charging for flights, you only need to connect to Stripe if you are planning on listing an aircraft and have pilots pay you to fly your airplane. Uh, eventually, we will do a tutorial about adding a plane, but for now, we'll skip that over because we just want to know how to book them and how to go flying. So let's go check out available airplanes. Once again, we'll just scroll through the listings and see what we want to book. We are gonna book the most Canadian airplane. So what happens is I will request a flight clearance and an owner of the airplane will get an email notification saying, hey, someone has requested to fly your plane. Uh, as they get that request, when they go in and action it, they have three options. They'll either notify you to check the schedule and schedule a check flight, or they can clear you to fly, or they can reject you. So typically you shouldn't be rejected if you meet all the criteria for the airplane, but why you may be rejected is because you haven't filled out your pilot profile and they don't know anything about you. So in this case, the owner was gracious enough to clear us, and now we are able to book the airplane. So we are gonna book it, and you can see that the airplane's available pretty much every day of the week from six till 10. So we're gonna make a booking, and we will book from 12 till 1.30. Now we'll see upcoming flights in our dashboard. And we just go to our dashboard and we can see the flights that are here. So most Canadian plane you can fly, it's in the dashboard. And then we log the flight as complete. So because this is a zero cost airplane, it's not actually gonna charge my credit card because I don't have one. Uh, but we're gonna say the initial flight was a thousand. And then here it, we finished at 1000 and five. So we flew five hours, the price is zero dollars, subtotal zero dollars, and then the flight 
club fee, including taxes and all processing charges, is 11%, but our total is zero. So it was a great flight. And this will get submitted to the owner. We log the flight and you're done. That's it. It's very simple, very user-friendly. Um, if there's anything that's missing that you want added on as a feature, please let us know. Uh, we're working on building this platform just really to be for pilots and for airplane owners to make airplane ownership and flying as easy as possible. So like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and please comment below if there's something that we're not doing that you want. Talk soon. Bye for now.